Who is Joseph Shada? This is the question. Oh my God, what's happening? اليوم رح نجرب نوع جديد من التاكيس اللي هو طب شوف هيدي شو رايك 14 سنه مدرسه وثلاث سنين جامعه ليسانس الله لا يوفق طيروا لي اكاونتي مش معي هالحركات كثير خطر وهي ذير ماي نيم از انتوني I'm the host of Do Not Worry, the podcast, a weekly show right here on my YouTube channel. Now, early on in the podcast, a character by the name of Joseph Shada became a regular topic on the show. Now, at first, I was kind of repulsed by him. You know, he's a 24-year-old physics and math teacher who does all these weird and cringy TikToks, and he gets in all sorts of weird controversies. But with time, I kind of became a fan of Joseph Shada. And he even won the Do Not Worry Award of Excellence. He makes all sorts of weird videos. Crappy ASMR. Takis. Skits. Lek dakhlak? Anta addesh maak bil bank? 20,000. Amni 20,000 dollar? Lira. Motivational videos. Hep hale. Educational stuff. Abtin lik bil exercise a egal na firgul katrava un met par second o carré o hi mesh mati bil donne. He acts. He sings. I love you, baby. Literally anything. Joseph and I had interacted a few times on TikTok and on Instagram, but we never actually met. So I had a lot of questions about the guy. Like, is he actually like this in real life? Is the Joseph Shah that we see on TikTok an actual person or is it just a character, a persona? Well, in late October slash early November, I got a chance to spend four days with Joseph Shada to answer the age old question, who is Joseph Shada? And yes, before you even say it, this film is very much inspired by iDubs and by Full Force. I am a huge fan of that movie. And we were set to start shooting, you know, just a few weeks ago. Unfortunately, five days before we started shooting, Joseph got himself into a massive, massive Twitter shitstorm. He decided to upload two TikToks with a minor, okay, pretending that he was her boyfriend and that they were dating. Hi, Halloween. صار لي زمان مش منزل تيك توك. عرفتوا شو السبب؟ خبروني إذا حدا عارف. خبرونا بالكومنتس. Oh my God, what's happening? Twitter, TikTok lost their minds for obvious reasons. And Joseph was getting canceled very quickly. So I grabbed my phone right away. I'm like, dude, what the fuck is going on? Who's that girl? What are you doing? We're supposed to start filming a documentary. Are you dating a minor, etc.? He calmly explained that it was all just a prank slash awareness campaign to raise awareness about adults dating minors and that he was happy that the video was trending because he was... He just wanted to make a comeback on TikTok. I'm like, dude, this is the most horrible idea. Delete that stuff right now. No one's gonna believe you. It is, it's a horrible excuse anyways, but I'm like, get ahead of this thing. He didn't listen to me. He wanted to keep the video up for a few days to get as much traction as he could. The next day, Joseph gets threatened by an anonymous Instagram account that specializes in going after predators and stuff like that and exposing them. They threatened to hack his Instagram and his TikTok. Joseph, in a bid to show his innocence, willingly gave that anonymous account his login information to his TikTok. Lo and behold, the guy logs into Joseph's TikTok, changes the login information, and basically locks Joseph Shada out of his own TikTok. He then deletes every single TikTok on Joseph's page, but only keeps the two TikToks with the young girl and then uploads this creepy TikTok. Hello, Joseph Shada is a 24-year-old man that made a TikTok with a minor so just days before we're supposed to shoot this documentary, Joseph gets locked out of his TikTok and the entire internet hates him and has turned on him. So that put me in a really weird position. At one point, I thought even canceling the documentary, but I figured, screw it. Joseph's fans have abandoned him. He's lost his TikTok. The internet hates him. There's no better time to dive in deep into Joseph Shada and see what this man is really made of. He's broken, beaten to the ground. He's got nothing left. And on that note, I was joined by my amazing DOP, Nicolas To, and my intern, Noor, as we descended into a strange four-day adventure into the heart of Shada land. And yes, Joseph Shada asked me to call his house 
Shadowland. And just a heads up, I'm going to be a little bit secretive about where Joseph lives and all of that sort of thing because he has mentioned repeatedly that he's gotten a lot of death threats and just threats in general, so he does not want anyone to know where he or his family lives, so just so you guys know. After having seen Joseph Shada on, on TikTok and like the internet for so long, it was definitely very like strange to see him in person. No, no way. Okay. I've been dreaming of this moment for many months, I must say. The legendary... Can, can, can you give us a tour? Before we get into anything, can you give us a tour of this legendary location? Well, as you see here is where I film Sawer Hone. The sofa, the <laughs> ring light, the telephone, RGB, all this is used for the white, but no colors for effects or heck. And the microphone. So here is where I do my TikToks. Why and Vishna, it? Why is this your main TikTok area? What makes this room like the ideal room for you to make? It's a, it's the best place. Uh, the lighting. Uh, the sofa, the couch, 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 I really liked this place. I thought it was very cozy. You get some nice family vibes in there. Felt like instantly felt at home, felt very comfortable. I'm not religious personally, but my house is religious uh, because of my parents. Uh, they, yeah, we're Christian. Uh, I sleep here on the side. SpongeBob Akid Haddadayman. Are you a big SpongeBob fan? I'm a big SpongeBob fan. Uh, SpongeBob is a person simple, pure, but at the same time, he does things that people think about or at the same time, he doesn't know so here clearly the way he describes Spongebob is he's trying to draw like a massive parallel between himself and Spongebob. Uh, so that, that's pretty funny and that's not the only time he does that. So here is Spongebob. I bought it. This is not a long time. This is a long time. This is a truce. I put it in so here is uh, where I uh, give tutoring sessions. Hi, the sofa. Can't I was alaya when I was little. Can I have a computer? Not not like a laptop. Can computer case, I mean. But then I got a laptop, I mean. But I couldn't put the laptop on. But then I decided that I would come back like before, I mean. Because this, I mean, this sofa and this bed here, that a lot of me attracted. فقررت انه هون اعطي التوترنج سيشنز ويعني كل شيء الكالكوليتر حدي كل كل شيء بعوزه والكتب عملتهم هون كمان حدي لحتى دغري يعني مثلا بدي درس مات باخذ هذا شو معوز دغري الكتاب باخده والكيبورد يعني وكل شيء هذا it's uh, easy يعني, to, to work on it. Which is the legendary couch? This is the main couch? This is the main couch. This is the main video that went viral and it was a shade and so on. Let's sit next to each other. Let's just get... This is a very important Legendary shot. moment. <clears throat> Can you take this as a photo as well? It would be my honor to have this picture. <laughs> This is a very important picture. This is how we are متماسكين بالعيلة من من أنا وصغير عايش بجو عائلي رائع مع أهلي مش مناقصين شيء علي تيبيكال لبنيز إذا بدك بس بنفس الوقت مني مثل غير عالم يعني إن وقت وين؟ إنه بطريقة عيشتنا يعني يعني كتير ستريكت إنه منخاف من من حي الله شيء مننتبه على التفاصيل بس بنفس الوقت هلا رحت لمطرح تاني من ورا السوشيال ميديا صرنا هير اي هاف ميديكال بوكس هونيك اي هاف كمان 
نحن بالعائلة جدي كان ترجمان وبي كان تيتشر وأمي تيتشر وعمتي تيتشر So we are all So it runs in the family It runs in the family Teaching والسقافة والعلم وهيك يعني نحن منحب نقرأ كتب ونتسقف So هوني في عندي هيدا هيدا it's about مراش أنا الأصول تبعي من مراش from Armenia So هيدا الكتاب بالأرمني it's all about الأصل تبعي هلا انا اسمي الحقيقي جوزيف شادريفيان شادريفيان؟ نعم اوكي اون سوشيال ميديا لقيت انه اول شيء يعني اصلا ما حدا بيحط اسمه على السوشيال ميديا انا انه حطيت اسمي بس مش اسم الكامل يعني لانه ما بينحفظ <تصفيق> فلقينا انه شادا از سيمبل وترندي فشادا مشينا فيها مارش كام كيرماني مير هايريني كاباكين انا باسن so this is where يعني, this is the introduction so he's saying that uh, writing uh, the history of Marash was difficult please go on read one more passage <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> I love you, baby. It was a horrible idea, صراحة يعني. بس إنه جاب لي. بتحب تغني؟ هاي دي. I've seen you post some some musical TikTok. I I رحت على استوديو صورت يعني إنه professional يعني بس إنه خلاص مش إلي الشغلة يعني. How are you feeling? أنا بعرف إنه I'm not a singer. أدم إنه okay ممكن بغني أحسن من غيري بس مش لا إلي الشغلة. فخلاص. But you like to sing. It brings you joy. Eh, but من بعد ما شفت ال ردة الفعل الناس خلاص أنا بقشع حالي. Okay, قول واو حلو. بحطه بشوف ال comments عم بيعلقوا على أشياء أنا ما كنت منتبه لها. يمكن ما عن حق. هاي الصورة كنت وقتها طالع أول بكل المدرسة. هاي دي حرف ال I I P يعني A بال English. بهايد السنة I got bullied يعني تحديدا بهاي السنة هايد كانت grade seven كانت إيه فا دائما كنت أنا حالي إنه they are bullying because they are jealous يعني إنه خلاص ما تعتلهم بس إنه ما كان مثل هلا يعني على الخفيف يعني هاديك ماشي يعني شخص شخصين بالمدرسة بتصير مع مين مكان مش مثل هلا على السوشيال ميديا هيدا baby شادا هيدا الشعرة كانت هيك وقت هيدا قال لهم المصور خلوها هيك كانوا بيزبطوا لي إياها قال لهم لا خليها it's cute إنه خليها هيك فلت الشعرة هيك فخذا هيك صورة that's not who's for rent it's not we're not as you list it's not me kid for rent oh my god هيدا yeah that kid for rent thing that that's weird I don't get the joke none of us did أحسن ممثل عندي هو روان أتكنسون تحديدا بمستر بين هلا هيدي الشخصية بتبين مثل كأنها غبية بس الشخص اللي عم بيلعبها قد ايه ذكي قد ايه عنده قد ايه عنده كرياتيفيتي هيدا الشخص لحتى قدر يعمل هيك شيء ويوصل للعالمية بهيك شيء So again with Rowan Atkinson and Mr. Bean, Joseph Shada is saying the same thing as he was saying about, about Spongebob. He acts silly and stupid and people think he's an idiot, but deep down he's really, really smart and stuff like that. Again, clearly talking about himself, so that's, the, that's why these two characters are idols of his. I don't know where it starts. And here is the thing, baby. where it starts. How do they say to the people who are in the sky and the sky? I had asked Joseph to prepare a few photo albums for us to look at some some childhood photos of his, but he busted out every single photo album from like their family history. Kept going on. Can I have the 
Can I the bicycle alone? And on. Can we move to another album? Shwaiye, a little bit older. Yes, yes. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. And on. I don't know if it's Papa Noel. And more and more pictures and every single baby photo and stuff. Spider-Man Shada, honey. I'm trying to skip a few. No, don't skip, don't skip. Every picture we want to see. And every picture, hey, what's up? I'm going to say, we have an interview. It's about 3 and so on. I'm going to talk to you. This is with my friend. I was going to go here and see if we were young. But eventually, it stopped. I can't tell you that you have a SpongeBob. After looking at the photo albums, we headed over to my place to conduct the in-depth interview with Joseph. That way we have a little bit more privacy, give his family a little bit more privacy at home. So, yeah. Who is Joseph Shada? This is the question. That is the first question. Who is Joseph Shada? Okay, uh, my real name is Joseph Shadarevian. I'm uh, Lebanese pure from a Lebanese family. Lassal uh, Armane, who was in the school of the school, and then I was in physics, license, and master, and I started to work in the school. I learned in the school. كنت دارس فيها افتر سكول لسنتين بعدين وقفنا بسبب الكورونا وعلى السوشيال ميديا من زمان عم جرب اني اعمل شيء يكون عندي بلاتفورم وامن انه انا شخص خلق لحتى يكون معروف لحتى انه يعني انه بحب الكاميرا وبحب بحب اني يكون على الشاشه مش مش قصه حب الظهور او حب الاتنشن بس حب اني يكون عندي ناس يمشوا بالفيجن تبعيتي ويأمنوا باللي أنا بآمن فيه وأقدر أثر فيهم يعني يعتبروني إنه شخص هيدا بنتمثل فيه أو أو بنسمع له شو ما يحكي. This is a theme that comes up a lot with Joseph. Him wanting people to look up to him, to respect him, to to be influenced by him. He talks about that a lot throughout the documentary and when we spend time together. He would mention that over and over again. Do you regret filming those TikToks? لا, I don't regret. I the only thing I regret is no, I gave my account. يعني أنا بس زعلان على الأكاونت مش على هذا. I love that after he lost his TikTok, after all of his fans turned on him, after the internet hated him, he was still adamant that those TikToks were not a bad idea. يعني أنا التيكتوكس اللي عملتهن عارف إنه هيك رح يصير بس هلا صارت out of control من وراء السرقة اللي صارت يعني الفيديو ما كان لازم يبقى أكثر من كم ساعة وينشال هلا بقي بقي كثير يعني لدرجه انه خلص انه صار مأزي الي والا كيف كانت طفولتك؟ منيحه مقبوله عاديه كنت انه انه كان في اشياء حب يكون عندي اياها وما ما كنت هيدا بس اهلي كانوا يعملوا الماكسيموم لحتى ما ينقصوا علي شيء بس كنت دائما انه حس انه بدي بعد وبدي بعد و نو نو ليش ليش غيري عنده وبعد وانا لا وقتها وقتها كطفل يعني بس بعدين وصلت لدرجه وعي انه كل واحد عنده طريقه بالحياه ومش كلنا مثل بعض ومش كل شيء غيري عنده اياه يعني لازم انا يكون عندي اياه و... يعني هيدي مع الوقت فمش انه وهلا صرت احسن من غيري كمان يعني احسن من غير عالم Were your parents strict when you were young? Did you have a strict upbringing? Strict من اي ناحيه يعني؟ Uh, the things you could listen to, the things you could do, the thing, the people you could hang out with, the, the movies you could watch. Were your parents shway uh, a scene, or were they uh, very chill, very easy going? Shway من هالناحية إيه لأن إنه بخافوا علي وهيك يعني فكان في إنه هاي إنه وعاي وعاي وهاي اللي لا وهيك. Was it from a religious angle? لا مش قصة religious قصة إنه إنه خوف يعني. This is when you kind of start to get a, a glimpse into why Joseph is the way he is. A lot of it has to do with maybe his childhood being a little bit sheltered, maybe not being able to do all of the things that he wanted to do. You were sheltered as a kid. Do you feel like you were sheltered as a kid? Yes. Do you feel like you were sheltered as a kid? Yes. Do you think that had an effect on you as, a, as an adult? Yes. But 
كل شيء زبطته بعدين يعني بس صرت فوق 18 انه خلص يعني كل شيء قبل ما كان ظابط او او كنت حاسس عندي نقص فيه بعدين عوضته كله كله يعني ما ما في مشكله بشيء So uh, and, uh, you're using your, your adult uh, life uh, you're using your adult life to kind of you can make up for some of the things that ما قدرت تعملهم as a child لا مش هيك يعني بس حسب يعني حسب شو قصدك يعني مش كل شيء واحد انه as a child عملت كل شيء يعني لعبت مثلا لعبت مع رفقه كان عندي كمبيوتر انه كل شيء عادي رحت على مدرسه ما ما في شيء ناقص كان بس مثلا لاعطيك اكزامبل السباحه ما تعلمت السباحه انا وصغير هلا عم بتعلم هلا هالسنه حطيت كوتش لاتعلم سواقه بعدني لهلا يعني قريبا لازم اتعلم سواقه انه هيك قصص يعني ايه انه ميو فوتار كو جامي لازم انه احسن نتاخر احسن ما هيك رين واتس يور مورنينغ روتين لايك وات دو يو دو ان ذا مورنينغ وين يو ويك اب اي ويك اب بفرش اسناني بعدين بتروق انه شيء مثلا درينك شيء حليب او لبن مع كرواسون هيك و اي تشيك ماي فون اهم شيء لشوف شو عم بيصير على التيك توك على الانستا شو الوضع شو عم بيحكوا عنا اكيد Uh, how was school for you at the Kinder Medrasa as a kid? Was it fun for you? Did you get along with the rest of the kids? In the school, I was loved and I was very proud of my parents and my teachers. I was very proud of them. 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 اللي كلهم بيحبوا يكونوا رفقه معه مش هالنوع يعني بس كانت بوبولر بنفس الوقت يعني نص المدرسه كانت تعرفني يعني كنت عايش وقت انا دور كيف هلا على التيك توك مثلا هذا هلا صار اكثر هلا وقتها كان بس بمدرستي ما حدا برا المدرسه كان يعرفني هلا بروح على مولات بروح على بابليك بليس بيشوفوني تينيجرز يعني في احتمال كبير انه يعرفوني Uh, is it were you bullied in madrasa she did you ever have any struggles with bullying انه انا وصغير شوي ايه مثل مثل كل مثل حيا الله حدا مره مره انا وصغير واحد خبط لي جبيني بالحيط ايه ف عصب بي راح عند الاداره قال لهم شو هي انه شو شو صاير ما معنا خبر مين عملها انه هيك هيك قصص يعني كان يصير ايه هاي مفروض هاي مش مفروض تصير يعني بس انه ات واز نورمالايزد وقتها ويا ريت هلا فيني انا ارجع بالزمن لورا وروح عند شادا الصغير روح عند جوزيف الصغير وقول له انه انتبه من هالشغله وهالشغله وكيف تتصرف وقتها ما كنت عارف اتصرف بهيك قصص كله مع الخبره الواحد بيتعلم Why did you become a teacher? Because I studied physics. يعني it was my only option. ما عندي حل تاني. What about uh, when we were at your house? Until your whole family were teachers. Did that play a role? And did they put any pressure on you to become a teacher? Or انت you wanted to become a teacher your whole life? The pressure started to حتى أدرس شيء سينتيفيك. يعني ما فوت مثلا محاماة او او اخراج او بسيكولوجي او شيء هيك يعني انه كون شيء انه خاصه يا مات يا فيزيك يا طب يا هندسه هي هودي القصص المهمين هلا شوف المهندسين شو عم بيعملوا المهندسين شو عم بيعملوا لهيدا ما كلهم قاعدين بلا شغل اكثريتهم شو So you're you're happy being a teacher. You have a passion for it. من كل قلبك you're من كل قلبي I'm doing it but it's not my passion. يعني it's not my dream job انه انا والله خلقت من انا وصغير بحلم كون تيتشر لا What is your dream job? What is your passion? My passion is production يعني الفيلمينج التصوير الكاميرا الاكتينج هاو ده ان هيدا هي Do you feel like your job as a teacher is an obstacle هلا from letting you do what you really want to do? Yes لانه دائما بدي بدي اعمل حساب لهالشغله انه ما في اعمل شيء 
بلكي بقول بلكي حدا من تلاميذي شافه يعني اذا ما في ينزل فيديو بلكي حدا من تلاميذي شافه او شيء فبس لحد هلا ما اثر على شغلي الا من ناحيه يمكن انه يعني ما ما عم بيجيني تلاميذ جداد قد قبل من ورا تيك توك قبل كان يجيني كثير تلاميذ من ورا تيك توك بعدين خفت القصه لانه بطلوا ياخذوني جديا الكونتنت تبعي منه ادكيشنال وماني مستعد والله افتح بيج بس للتعليم في عندي غير اشياء بدي انزلها انا شو شو فاتح مدرسه انا على تيك توك Do you see it as a way هيدا تيك توك اكاونت خليك تعيش هيدا ذا سايد اوف البرودكشن والفيم والتمثيل اللي ما قدرت تعيشه ذات ذات يور تيشينج از جيتنج انا لو اعطوني شيء برنامج مرتب على التي في كنت كنت شو بدي بهالقصه شو بدي بتيك توك انا بيهمني شيء يكون مرتب اكيد يعني يعني هلا مثلا اللي اوكي مع احترامي اللي بيعملوا برامج هلا على التي في وكذا انه شو احسن مني يعني او شو عندهم ثقافه اكثر مني ولا شهادات اكثر مني ولا شو So TikTok in a way to get a taste of that life that you can't get لانك استاذ ايه من تيك توك هدفي اول شيء اوصل لعند هودي انا لانه ما بروح بقدم على التيفيات انا يعني ما ما بعرف ولا بعرف يعني ولا بعرف حدا ولا شيء بس انه قلت يمكن بس يشوفوا انه شخص على تيك توك عنده هالشخصيه تعجبهم ويجيبوه مثلا يقولوا له بدنا اياك تمثل او بدنا اياك تعمل برنامج وثاني شيء تو جيت مور فريندز و يعني تو لاتعرف على ناس جداد وانا شو كنت مفكر انه بس واحد يصير تيك توك فيمس يعني خلص انه انه خلص يعني صرت بيقتلوا حالهم عليك يعني بس هي ما في شيء من هالنوع يعني مثلك مثل غيرك بس انه الفرق انه عندك فولوورز How do your parents feel about your TikTok career? They want me to delete it from the man or to stop it. <laughs> Why? No, 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 because I am not a man who is 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 a So they don't like your TikTok. Eh. Do they know who said he called him in camion? Yes. What do they think about that? Um, ماشي ما ما يعني أكيد ما حيتغير رأيهم فيه يعني ب بهالشي بس إنه إنه متعجبين إنه شو إنه شو ليه يعني شو شو إنه ليه إنه ليه كل فترة بيح بيطلعوا عليك خبرية يعني من فترة كمان. طلع قصة الجاي انه شو انه بتعرف يعني الاولد جنريشن بالنسبة لهم هيدا انه شيء انه جاي All the love to our gay brothers and sisters watching baby ايه ما انا عملت فيديو كمان سبورتنج ال جي بي تي كيو وقتها وراح فايرل كان الكومنتس نص على نص نص معه ونص ضد ما فيك تقنع الكل Do you consider your content cringe? Most of it ايه في اشياء نزلتها طلعت كرينج ايه انه ما بعرف شو قصدك بكلمه كرينج على المضبوط يعني I think you know what I mean do you do it on purpose to get attention or do you release those videos thinking they're not cringe or weird يعني do you, is it a persona جوزيف شادا اللي عم نشوفه بهالفيديوز اللي عم بيعمل هالاساس الغريبه جوزيف شادا هيدا تيك توك بيرسوناليتي منه انا يعني هيدا كاركتر 
كاركتر لتيك توك هيدا عملناه ومشينا فيه انا كنت بفضل حط غير اسم كليا بس ساعه بتحطيت هيدا الاسم وخلص هلا صار الكل بيعرفوا فالناس عم بيلخبطوا بين انا الشخص الحقيقي والشخص اللي عم بينزل تيك توك وهيك وبفهمهم يعني بفهمهم لانه هو نفس الشخص سو اتس فير تو سي ذات ذا كرينج كونتنت ذات يو دو درس انت من قبل بتعرف انه رح تنزل هيدي الفيديو رح تطلع كرينج حسب حسب في اشياء بكون انا اشعه بغير منظر انا بكون اشعه شيء عادي بعدين الناس بيشعه بغير طريقه يعني انا بكون حاطط فيديو على اساس لبكي العالم بيقوموا بيضحكوا او بكون حاطط لضحك العالم بيقوموا بيعصبوا يعني هيك <تصفيق> بتحس بريشر تعمل كونتنت كرنجي اكثر واكثر سو ذات يو ستي ريليفنت على تيك توك لا ولا هلا ما كنت قبل حاسس هالبريشر كنت اخر فتره مثل ما شفت كنت عم نزل اشياء كثير سيريس يعني فيديوهات درس فيديوهات انفورميشن ادوكيشن رجعت لهيك كونتنت وبعدت عن القصص ساعتها صار يعني الفيديوهات يجيبوا 10000 فيوز هيك شيء 20000 ماكسيموم ما حبيت هالشيء صراحه وبلشوا ناس يقولوا لي انه انسيناك وبلشت تنطفع ومدري شو راحت ايامك فقررت So you decided to do something big. وتنزل هول الفيديوز. So you you are feeling the pressure. يعني في عم بتحس pressure. كنت حاسس pressure إنه إنه بلشوا ينسوني وبلشوا غير تيك توكرز ياخذوا إنه هيدا ينعرفوا وأنا يقولوا لي إنه نسيناك. ولا ما كان لازم صراحة. I didn't have to do this. يعني هيدا كانت زحطة. أوبسي. ما لها عازة. انه ما كانوا رح ينسوني يعني بهالبساطة، يمكن اوكي يصيروا ياخذوا اتنشن غير تيك توكرز بس مش رح ينسوا اسمي بهالبساطة اكيد لا. العالم when they see you in the streets بيعرفوك، do people walk up to you؟ do they ask for pictures؟ يس. Yes. خاصة تينيجرز يعني هلا الناس اللي عمرهم بال 40 50 صعبة يعرفوني، بس تينيجرز كلهم لأنه هن they are on تيك توك. How do you feel when someone stops you and asks you for a picture? I feel proud انه انه هيدا انا كان حلمي من زمان انه اوصل لهيك لهيك شيء يعني بس كمان بصير فكر انه هيدا عن جد فان ولا شو ليه بده ياخذ صوره معقوله يروح يتصور الصوره ويبعثها لرفقاته على شي جروب مثلا ويحكي ورا ظهري Do you feel like you're famous maybe for the wrong reasons انه الفكره ليش 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 بده يعمل فان اوف مي يعني ما فهمت يعني Because of the content that you share the cringe weird stuff Do you feel like that has made you famous but maybe بس not هو لو لو منه براود انه هيدا ما بيجي بيتصور معي وبيبعتها انه هيدي عم ببعتها لحتى يفتخر فيها انه ليكو ليكو مين شفت وليكو مع مين تصورت ايه Who are your biggest enemies على تيك توك Do you have enemies Yes I have Do you want to talk about them انه صار عندي مشاكل من ورا تيك توك ناس حاقدين حاسدين شو بدي اقول لك اجاني تهديدات نشروا رقمي جربوا جربوا ياذوني وجربوا مثلا حتى مثلا يسربوا رقم عائلتي او شيء انه هيك يعني لهالدرجه انه وصلت الوساخه معهم Did your fight with Adrian bring you back to your childhood? انت كلكم شفتوا شباب انا ما اعتديت عليه انا جاي على الميت اندريت هو بده يتصور انضب اعترف بغلطك فهم غلطك ما خص هاي بهاي لا لا For those of you who don't know, Adrian is this like young TikToker. He showed up at one of Joseph's meet and greets at City Mall a few months ago, and then like they got into a fight and all of that. It was kind of hilarious. لا ما خص بس إنه هو يعني زاد كتير أول شيء ما كان لازم هيك يعمل و ونزع لي الميت أند غريت يعني اللي كنا مبسوطين فيه وجايين الفانز يتصوروا وكل شيء كان تمام. ما كان مفروض يجي اصلا ويفرجيني وجهه اول شيء، يعني شخص غلطان معي على شو جايه وانا بدي اتصرف مثل كانه ما في شيء. طب ما يعني خلص بنعيش وبنتعلم، انا كان لازم تو اول شيء لانه بعده صغير ومش واعي 
وثاني شيء هيدا هدفه اصلا هو عارف انه كل شيء كان عم بيتصور وعم ينزل على تيك توك و هي وانتد انه ياخذ هالاتنشن هو واعطيناه اللي بده اياه. Would you be willing to meet with Adrian؟ اذا بيقبل يعتذر علنا 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 جوزيف انا بدي اقول لك انه عن جد انا بعتذر منك بس فيك بليز تعلمني درسني عندي بعد بكره فحص ما وناجح كل شيء اذا ما بسط الفحص ما بيمشي الحال. Do you think you can really do both or eventually you're going to have to choose either teacher or TikTok? I was doing both. بس انه لازم انه لازم اقرر بقى ايه لانه it seems they can't coexist مع بعضهم كل وحده انا كنت اكبر اثبات انه في الواحد يكون استاذ وفي واحد بنفس الوقت يكون ممثل وعلى السوشيال ميديا و... وكذا بس ايه في ناس عم بيشوفوني بايمج منا ايمج السيريس تيتشر يعني اللي بيكون بالصف اكيد ما حيكون ذات الشيء انه بالصف وبال على التيك توك يعني كيف بدي اتصرف ما اكيد غير شيء So you don't think you can do both forever, Anna. You're going to have to choose. هلا ما راح ما راح ضل اعلم كل حياتي يعني. هيدي هلا عم بعملها بس انه مشان انه كشغل يعني. لحتى اعيش منها بس غير هيك بالنهايه لا، بالنهايه الدومين تبعي هو الشاشه والتصوير وهالاشياء. اذا هلا سالتك تنقي بين العلم وبين تيك توك، which one would you choose? ايه تيك توك. Yes. Damn baby, no hesitation. It means a lot to me. مثل ما أنت قلت وقت إنه أخذ مني الهكر أكتر شيء بيعني لي. إنه شيء غالي علي واشتغلت عليه ما في هيك يجي يأخده. راح استرجعه على الأكيد يعني ما في ما في مجال. Uh, tell me شوي about your passion for acting. ليش بدك تمثل؟ Why do you want to? Why is acting the thing you want to do the most? Uh, هي it's not just acting, but uh, إنه وقت اللي كنت واقف على المسرح I was enjoying it. بس كنت بفضل ورا الكاميرا يعني نحن على المسرح ما في كاميرا إنه it's not uh, screen. بس إنه كمان it's like إنه واقف على خشبة والناس عم بيحضروك إنه attention. No, أهم شيء you you are getting the type of attention that is needed. Okay, no one ما. So you like getting attention. You like people to look at you to put all their focus and their attention. عليك. You like to be the focus. هيك ال هيك it seems ما بعرف يعني إنه. So earlier in the interview he said his TikTok wasn't about getting attention and stuff like that, and right now he's saying that it's all about the attention. So he's just a walking contradiction. أنا هلا عم بكتشف هالشي بحالة إنه. انه هيئتني شخص بحب ال يعني انه شخص بحب الناس يكونوا مهتمين فيه بس بطريقه بوزيتيف اكيد ما بدي النيجاتيف اتنشن ما بدي اياها. از يور ورك از ا تيتشر وكل الشغل اللي بتعمله على تيك توك دو يو هاف تايم تو ديت او لا اي هاف تايم بس انه هلا هلا سنجل يعني ما ماني ملتزم بحدا مع حدا بشيء سيريس يعني ما في شيء بس انا من ورا تيك توك تعرفت على كثير صبايا بس كله يعني بيهايند ذا سكرين يعني يعني صرنا فريندز اوكي بنحكي اونلاين بس يعني ولا مره صار في ريل ميتنج ان ريل لايف يعني وات ويل يو وات وود يو دو اف يو كانت جيت يور تيك توك باك شو بتعمل؟ اكونت هو ذاته رح يرجع لي مثل الشاطر الهاكر رح يرجع لي اياه مثل الشاطر ومثل ما اخذه رح يراجعه بايده So at the end of the interview, I asked Joseph if there was anywhere we could go, uh, where we could kind of recharge, have him kind of connect to his roots since he's going through such a difficult time and such a difficult period. And he mentioned his grandmother's house somewhere over in the mountains. So we decided to do that. The next day, we went on a road trip to meet his grandmother. <laughs> كان في ناس يجوا كمان بالصيفيه يعني كانه فاكيشن وانا بجي فاكيشن 
فصار عندي رفقة هون يس يلا نانا All right, I just gotta say, his grandmother is like the sweetest lady. We all fell in love with her. If there wasn't like the whole COVID thing going on, we all just wanted to grab her and give her a massive kiss on the cheek. She is adorable. She's the loveliest lady. We loved her. Keep going, Adu. Shalom, Nizan. Taz, I'm with Hassan. I'm with Hassan Tahran. Taz. And change this now, Dorkesi. you can tell Joseph starting to get emotional and this whole visit is going to get him very emotional. ترجمة <تصفيق> Can you imagine your life without your grandmother? <laughs> I will I will continue my life, Yani. Rah Kamil Shubadiam. How how has she inspired you? No. No, I know Zrir Bajila Anda was the Krayet وكنا نصور سوا ونغني سوا انا كثير مصور فيديوز معها بس ما بحطهم على السوشيال ميديا لو حطيتهم على السوشيال ميديا كان هذا الشيء ساعد بس هن بالارمن يعني هي بتحكي ارمن ما في يعني مش رح يفهموا علي I love how he's just thinking about getting more social media followers if i could use my grandmother in my tiktoks more people would have watched them هذا الشيء كان ساعد that was just hilarious i found that really funny كنا نصور كنا نسجل كاسات هي تغني كمان صوتها حلو ما بقول شيء وهيك هذا بتحب تغني ستك؟ ايه فيكم تغنوا غنية أصيلة سوا شيء هيك something very adorable فينا فينا that would be amazing يلا بس شو 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 عم تعمل ستك؟ كأنها بعدها بدها تجيب لنا قصص 
C'est ça I just have to say that watching Joseph Shada singing Armenian with his grandmother sitting right across from me was one of the most surreal moments of this past year. After doing this podcast for so long, I never thought I'd be sitting in like such a situation and it was, I loved it. هذيك المرة ما تصوروا معي هون بس جيت طريق الناس مزبوط ايه هيك دائما هيك عم بيصير ببيروت ووين ما كان بلبنان ايا وين الطريق هلا نهار الاحد قول انا شادة انا شادة كارت صار انزين انا صورنا صورنا صورة تذكارية You okay? Want to talk about something? No. كانت كتير حلوة الطريقة يعني شوف مثل ما شفت so yeah just as joseph was about to open up every single dog in the neighborhood started to bark so we kind of had to uh cut the conversation short and go somewhere else do you feel lonely as an adult hala i feel lonely لانه عندي هالكميه الكبيره من الفولوورز اوكي بس الرفقه الكلوز معي ليل يعني هي اوكي اتس كواليتي اوفر كوانتيتي بس كمان انه انه مش معقول يعني شخص هل انه هالقد يكون عنده فولوورز وبتجي بحياته بتشوف كم كم صديق قريب عنده كم حدا بقدر احكيه مثلا طلع على بالي روح مشوار كم حدا عندي لاقدر احكيهم هيك هالشي يعني ما بقدر اوثق بحدا اصلا يعني انا من من كذا سنه يعني كل سنه عن سنه كل ما تصير شغله جديده عم عم بفقد ثقتي بالعالم فكل مره بصير شيء اضرب ما بقى في اوثق بحدا ابدا But this interview took a dramatic turn when I revealed to Joseph that just the night before the cult of Abaddon the anonymous Instagram account that had Joseph's TikTok actually reached out to me on Instagram and he sent me a number of DMs. message Cult of Abaddon, the, the person who has your uh, TikTok account. Do you know that? No. Badly message message I wanted to surprise you with that information. Uh, he told me that he watched the podcast episode, the Amelta, and he told me that it helped now انه يرد لك الاكونت ايه ما انه جاي يقنعه ويروح ينقبر بس قال لي ما قال لي لازم تعتذر ولا شيء قال لي هي بس بده يشوف بيهيفيورال تشينج واف يو كان بروف ذات رح تغير يعني مين مفكر حاله شو جاي يربيني يروح يربي حاله انا بس عم لك لي قال لي انا اي واز حكيت معه مع احترام جوست ما يسبب لك مشاكل زياده اي واز جوست هو هي واز 
ريسبكتفول تو مي ايه اسم الله شو ريسبكتفول انا ماني عامل شيء وما خصهم في شو بنزل على تيك توك مش لانه كم ولد حكي كم ان هاود الهيترز الكيدز تبعولي قالوا له انه يلا ديليت هيز اكونت وكذا وهاك هيم يروح يسمع لهم ما هو يمكن بعد لهلا ما عرفت قد ايه عمره بس بروبابلي يعني تلميذ مدرسه يعني هذا الاكونت كذا تلميذ مدرسه رح يتلاحقوا رح ينلقطوا رح يندموا كثير ما حتقطع هيك انا واز شيرينج ذس نيوز انه كانه اتس بوزيتيف نيوز انه اتس نوت بوزيتيف انه اي ثينك اتس نوت بوزيتيف يعني بعده عم بكبر راس هيدي هيدي الشغله وقف الهان مش معقول وقح قال عم بيحكي قال So clearly, Joseph wasn't happy about that, but um, I had to tell him. After spending a couple of intense days and bringing out all of these emotions from Joseph and talking about his TikTok being canceled, we wanted to give him an endorphin rush. We wanted to, to get his mood up. So we decided to take Joseph for a personal training lesson with the awesome coach, Mireille Tabib. She was gracious enough to free up her afternoon to give Joseph a one-on-one -on -one training lesson. So we really appreciate it. And um, it was a lot of fun. So it's uh, our third day with Anthony going to the gym. Like, no, I have a lot of things that are connected between Spongebob. So I think I like his personality. He is optimistic, friendly, nice, happy, loyal, funny, hardworking, outgoing, selfless, sweet. innocent and very good natured <laughs> and he loves to have fun hello let's go so <laughs> 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 <laughs>
we were fortunate enough to get a chance to speak with Ryan, who is Joseph's best friend. Um, he's also a very big fan of Do Not Worry. So thank you for watching the show, Ryan. Um, he gave us a lot of very good insights on Joseph. So I really enjoyed my conversation with him. Uh, how did you and Joseph meet? I was uh, following him on TikTok and watching his lives since January during Corona times when we weren't able to do anything. And uh, I actually got closer to him as he was continuing his lives. He made us laugh and uh, he showed us a different, like what we didn't want to, what we wanted to see, sorry, uh, what we wanted to see because we were really all depressed from this uh, current situation. And um, it was like a, a, yeah, a, a shed of light, you can say. But I noticed that uh, a lot of people were bullying him and I sent him a direct message and I told him that I was also bullied when I was, uh, when I was young in school and I feel for you and I, want, I support you and uh, I guess I never let you down in a way. I told him that, don't worry, I'll, I'll always be there for you. And I, I felt for him, the guy. What a sweet man. What a sweet guy, this Ryan. Oh my God. He's different. When you, the, the Shada persona is different than Joseph Shada Ravian as, um, as, a, as, a, as a person. Uh, what makes Joseph a good friend? He's loyal. Loyal to anything else? He will never, he never lied to me. Even though sometimes I would feel that maybe the way he would talk is like, like maybe there's something, but at the end, you'll find out that this person is a truly honest person. And uh, <laughs> I'm going to say, like, I am saying many positive things about him, but the only negative thing about him is that he acts uh, before he thinks. Mm -hmm. And the fact that he acts before he thinks gets him a lot into trouble. And maybe sometimes it's for his own benefit, for his persona, but he never really takes into consideration the the, alter, the, 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 the consequences and of his actions. And I, um, I tried as his friend to sometimes tell him, no, Joseph, don't try this or try this and we'll see what happens or this is too cringy. And eventually he's going to do what he's going to do. Uh, no person can, can change that. So your advice for Joseph is think before you act. Think before you act. And when your thoughts are all over the place, try like I had this before, try to organize your thoughts, write them down. Is there a side to Joseph Shada that people don't know about that you would like to highlight? The Shada persona is a character. But once you meet Joseph Shada in person, you see the true Shada and uh, you see the true Shada, the loyal, trustworthy, honest, uh, responsible, and mature shadow. I love how deep and serious it all gets when Ryan has his hands like this, like talk, the mature, responsible shadow. The shadow that, as a teacher, we all say we should respect our teachers, we respect our doctors, respect all these elders uh, in our way, you know, like army, and you know what I mean. The, the problem is, with the shadow persona has taken over his life that really this allows people to respect him. People that should respect him. But I always respect him. Even though I'm nine years older than him, I respect him as a teacher and as a friend. But 16 year olds who he, they should respect and call them Mr. Shararavian, they just, they bully him, they shame him and he falls for it. And he tries to defend. And the problem, he continues to defend and he reaches a, uh, self-sabotage the thing is he needs advice i'm not saying he needs um i'm not being negative about him but he needs advice because he's a very smart person he's book smart and he's street smart to be able to create such a persona i think you've answered that but what do you think of his tiktoks in general a lot of his tiktoks he's doing it for his he's doing it for his uh, his audience which are the young ones which are the ones that he's getting into trouble with sometimes. Like focus on one thing. You might lose, lose, you might lose followers. At the same time, you will gain more respect. I think for me, as a 33 year old, respect over views. 
But what do you guys do for fun when you hang out, when you and Joseph chill? Lately, I've been taking him to places that are of his age, that people probably might not even know where, uh, uh, about uh, his, uh, his audience. So he goes to places that he doesn't feel that there are people around him that know him. Like, we went once to a mall and it was all, all, all hell broke loose. The security guard came to up to me and told me, please take your friend and leave. We were in ABC on a Friday. So yeah, that was not a good idea. But we, we, went, to some, uh, we went to some swimming pools. We went and had some drinks. We went uh, to, some, uh, to some pubs and to some bars. And I showed him uh, the life, how I used to live when I was his age. Because I felt that he needs to be introduced to this. Even at 24, he needs to be introduced to this life. I'm not sure, and we've never really talked about his history, but I feel that if I introduce him more to this life, he will become more accustomed and relax. Do you think his last stunt with the 16-year-old uh, girl pretending for the awareness campaign, do you think that was a good idea? No. I already told him it was a horrible idea. You have to always know that there's consequences to what you do. And I think continuing with the documentary is the best thing you can do even in this times. I gotta be honest, I think we got a lot out of our conversation with Ryan. He's clearly a smart dude who has Joseph's best interest at heart. So I, I really, I, I like this conversation. We decided to give Joseph a little, a little reward, a night out on the town with his friend. So we invited his friend Ryan and his friend Tatiana to go out to Floyd uh, the dog, a little pub in Madame Chaya to just enjoy some drinks. But before going there, Joseph had to make a stop to a nearby church to say hello to an old friend. رجعت لعندك للمرة الثانية عرفت شو صار معي قصص هالسنة يا ريت بس فيني ارجع بالزمن لورا وغير كم شغلة شي واحد بيقدر يغير مصير انسان ليه يا رب ما عطيتنا خيار نرجع بالزمن لورا انا اليوم ما رح اطلب منك شي غير انك تقويني تاقدر واجه وارجع مثل قبل واحسن As we were waiting for Ryan and Tatiana to arrive, we just stopped by another place where Joseph was again talking to us about respect and fear and stuff like that. You know, the usual. I need respect. And eventually we found ourselves at Floyd where uh, Joseph and I kind of continued a conversation we had left off at the garden. Remember when I had told him about uh, the, the Instagram account guy sending me DMs? Well, Joseph was really trying to get me to reveal what those DMs were. I didn't want to tell Joseph what they were so that he doesn't get angry and then send the guy more DMs and make his situation worse. So I was not going to reveal those DMs to Joseph, but he was not happy about that. So things might get better, young had young children. So as you can see, Joseph lost his shit. All right, he physical harassment. He pushed me, folks. All right, he pushed me out of the way. Joseph wasn't having it. He was mad, folks. What the fuck happened? Oh my God, I don't know. <laughs> 
but I talked him down. I managed to get him calm. Okay. I got him back to the bar so we can enjoy the rest of his night. The documentary was saved. But hold up. Okay, I, I gotta admit the truth, okay? I'd love for you guys to think that this was real, but this was a fake fight. Okay, I know, I know, I'm sorry. I really needed the shot for the trailer, okay? It would make it a lot more dramatic. I wanted this to happen, and if you don't believe me, here's a bunch of outtakes. We tried this fight at the garden, at the bar. Uh, enjoy the outtakes. I'm trying to get him to be like, mother, trying to get him to quit the documentary. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, enough of that silliness. Uh, Ryan and Tatiana arrived to Floyd and, you know, they just hung out with Joseph, had a few drinks. Same as the modern reality. Be yourself, be positive. Be positive. O positive. Be positive. Show all positive. And to be positive? Be positive. Oh, okay. Okay, let's go. Let's see when you start. I'm not ready. 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 I'm not he commented, he's like, how can you watch something nine hours that's Korean? Ryan, the first meeting with Ryan, who will... The second friend. I love wine and the wine. No, I don't want wine. أنت استفلي أنا عم بحكي عن حالي بس white wine yes let's go so how did you and Joseph meet من شي سنة تقريبا يعني وقت كنا عم نعمل كونكور للقيارات what makes him a good friend for Joseph هو إنسان كتير طيب يعني قلبه كتير طيب وكتير منيح يعني بيعرفوا عن مزبوط اللي قريب منه بيعرف هذا هو كتير إنسان منيح وطفل قلب طفل ف يعني ما ما بيأذي مركز على حياته مهمه حياته عنده حابب يعمل اشياء فيها كثير هيك عنده اهداف عنده احلام سو ما في شيء يعني خليك ما تحبه لجوزيف شو رايك بالتيك توك تبع جوزيف؟ ااا ماني كثير انتو يعني ماني كثير منتبهه بس انه يعني بدك تحط هيك وهيك ما فيك تخليها صفحة إنه بس عم بتعلم بالنهاية في عندك فولوورز مش جايين لحتى يتعلموا فجايين لا يعرفوا مين جوزيف. slightly random question بتعرف سبونج بوب the cartoon character أكيد. إنه the character تبع سبونج بوب كتير بيشبه character جوزيف would you agree with that أو من أي ناحية؟ جا جا ذكر ما جوزيف من أي ناحية؟ إنه شخص fun و loyal و friendly Outspoken. As you guys know, Joseph keeps talking about wanting to be an actor. So I prepared a little surprise for him. I spoke to a very good friend of mine, Lebanese actor and superstar, Lies Zayik. And I convinced him to give Joseph a private acting workshop. Lies is a big fan of Joseph Shada. He was more than happy to do it. Not only that, he wanted to come to Floyd to meet Joseph and let him know that they were going to do that workshop the next day. God bless you. Cheers. 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 So, Joseph. I'd like to introduce you to a friend of mine, Lebanese actor Yes Zayi. Yeah. Hello. Hi, yeah. He's here. Yeah. He's a big fan of yours. Hi, Hi. 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 Yes. Hi. 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 guys. You're good. Hi. I'm, a, Hi. I'm a big fan. Thank you. I'm a big fan. a very good friend. Go ahead. Hello. 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 Elias is going to give you a private acting private, lesson. Um, Well-being through acting. So I'm going to leave you guys wow. together. So it's going to be a, a very interesting uh, heck, uh, thing that we should do together. Do you tell me that you're going to do it? Do you want to do it? Do you want to do it? Yes, I want to do it. Did you take the account? No, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. No, we're confident that we're going to do it. Okay. 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 Okay.
خبرني شوي عن ال... عن القصص هيك ريليتد لاكتنج حابب اعرف اكثر بخصوص هال هو من زمان بحب الاكتنج بحب كل شيء له علاقه بالبرودكشن بكتب آه يعني في عندي ك... من انا وصغير بكتب قصص يعني بالف قصص مثلا انا بكون البطل تبعها او حدا ثاني يعني عندي سو so عندك قصص هلا مكتوبه محطوطه بالجرور ايه اوريدي حاضر وناوي اكتب مسلسل لبعدين بس المشكله انه الافكار تبعولي ما بتنعمل بلبنان لانه بتكلف كثير ما كلفه ما كلفه يعني برودكشن فاليو كوست ايه بدك كثير برودكشن فما مش خرج يو نو واي اي لايك يو لانه ما عندك اندفاع كثير قوي يعني انا مش شايف حدا عنده اندفاع وهيك يو جست فيري اخر همك الدنيا يو جست كيب اون جوينج ويتش از فيري انترستنج مش ان هيك علقت براسي وهيك حبيت تو انترفير وكون بارت اوف ذس جو الحلو كان اي سي سمثينج؟ يا انا دارس اكتنج انا التقيت فيك مره وقتها كنا ومتصور بفن الشباك تحت so as the night came to a close, we took some selfies. Joseph and Elias hugged goodbye before their epic workshop in the morning. So as promised, Elias showed up at my apartment the next morning for that acting workshop. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Good. Three, four. Good, good. This gives us connection and خلص. No, we're starting to disconnect. من كل شيء حاول. أنا مش حتى واضح إنه في. ما تحرك جسمك إلا بس جنرال اوكي عم بيطلع شامخ عم بيطلع بجنوده اوكي شخص بيشتغل بزباله كيف بيكون واقف انتريستين اوكي حدا بعده اجى رئيس بالشغل رئيس كثير عالي اجته بالشغل Yes, good job. Okay, I love it. Good job, good job. Okay, so let's keep on moving the body. It was kind of nice to see Joseph let loose, you know, be comfortable. He's always usually very tense and awkward around people, but Elias really found a way to make him more comfortable and more at ease around everyone. Bad murder. One of the best exercises that Elias gave him was he gave him this scenario. He asked Joseph to pretend to receive a phone call that one of his loved ones is in the hospital and it's very, very critical. And we were surprised by Joseph's performance. Let me just tell you that. Hello? 
شوف في ايه ايه هلا خلصني وين وين اي ساعه اخذتوها على المستشفى يعني تمام هلا عم بتقول لي ليه ما قلت لي من قبل اي مستشفى لا شو خليك بالبيت بدي اطبق بدي اشوف شو صاير طب طب خليك حدا خليك صار شيء يعني عم تقدر عم تقدر تمشي واعيه هيك ولا شو؟ ليه ما عم بخلوك تشوفها يعني شو دكاتره؟ دكاتره من مانعين من عين حدا يفوت لعندها يعني في شيء خطير اذا هيك لو ما بعد شيء كانوا خلوك تفوت عم اتعذب اجي على الفاضي يعني ايه حتى من برا يعني لما بنوع من برا نشوفها او شيء رجع احكيني احكيني واتساب عدت لي فويس شو بصير باي باي مش ما بقى فيني احكي يعني يعني مالا خبريني هلا يلا باي باي Yes, easily, easily, bravo. Stay, stay connected to the character. هلا أنا رح أعطيك مثل تب صغيري كرمال تقدر تطلع على الشيء اللي أنت حاسه هذا. Okay, sit. Okay. بديك بس تعمل شغلة واحدة. Whenever you're ready. بديك تطلع أحلى صرخة نطلعها فيها كل غضب كل بين كل شيء تفضية بزرف واحد لعندي هون صرخة. Okay. من 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 أنت واقف. Okay. بدي هالصرخة. And after all of that intensity, it was time to wind Joseph down, which is where all the meditation music came in. And then Elias really wanted to just calm him down, bring him back down to earth. The guy can act, man. Under pressure, the guy can act. After an extremely intense four days with Joseph, particularly that very emotional acting workshop that he did with Joseph, we wanted to give him a chance to really let loose, go ape shit, you know, let out all of that stress, all of that anger. So we figured there's no better place to take him than smash it. It's this place that just lets you grab any weapon you want and just fucking smash things to bit. Old TVs, whatever. Enjoy.
تخيل انه هذا بنطلون مش لاح من ايد لا مش لاح من ايدك الايد فوتها بالايد فوتها بحل الوضع صح صح اوكي كبير Joseph, we have come to the end of our four days together. I've never in my life would have imagined I would be spending so much time, Maja Joseph Shada, immersed in your world. Um, what did you learn from these four days? Did you discover a new side of yourself? Look, I really wish I had a nice way to wrap this up. I wish I could say that Joseph learned something after spending four days with me. But I really don't think he did. Of course, I have a vision. I, have, I want people to believe in my vision. If they don't see it yet, it's okay. It takes time. And I honestly just wanted an excuse to give him a SpongeBob present, so that's where that came in. This is a gift for you. Like, so check it out. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> After shooting this documentary, he ended up getting his TikTok back about eight days later, and he went back to posting the same kind of content he normally does. But I do think I learned a bunch about Joseph Shada, even though I still don't fully understand him at all. He's a guy who clearly craves and loves attention, even though he sometimes says he doesn't. And he sees his TikTok success as a chance to live the life he's always wanted but was never able to. He doesn't want to be a science teacher. He wants to be on TV. He wants to sing. He wants to dance. He wants to act. He's, he's, he's a massive contradiction. On one hand, he wants to be respected by everyone, but on the other hand, he makes really weird and cringe, bizarre online content that makes it difficult for people to, to see him in a serious way. Would Joseph Shada be popular if he weren't doing all the weird stuff that he does online? Are we, the audience, partly to blame in encouraging that kind of content and putting more pressure on him to outdo himself and create weirder and cringier content? What I think is that Joseph should surround himself with good people like his best friend Ryan. People who actually care about Joseph and care about his well-being. Someone who's going to give him good advice and keep him out of trouble. But again, would Shada be Shada if he wasn't getting in trouble? And look, like, is Shada actually the Lebanese Spongebob? I don't fucking know. But he kind of looks like him. But more importantly, if Shada believes it, then I'm willing to believe it too. Do you think Joseph Shada can make a comeback? Yes. Do you think the world is ready for Joseph Shada to come back? Why not? يعني شو يعني ما تحسسني كأني عملت شيء هالقد يعني عادي عملنا فيديو أوكي بلغنا فيه وكذا بس إنه عادي فينا نعمل comeback و I was planning يعني تو إنه ضل نزل أشياء يعني منيح اللي صار هيك يعني من ميلة أحسن ما ضل نزل أشياء أضرب بعد. <laughs> so, uh, so will Shada Reja? Yes.
ما في يعني هيدا الشيء اللي بدي اياه بالحياه بس انا قلت لاهلي انه انه هيدا الشيء اللي بدي اياه انه والا بلا هالعيشه جلست هناك اصغي لصوت المطر افكر ما الذي حصل لحالي طوال سنوات مثل اناس كثر يضيع مني العمر ولا ابالي لكن قد سئمت من التفكير قد حان وقت التغيير قد حان شوقي لغد لمبتسم لنغني ما اجمل الحياه فكل شيء يحيا بالامل فلننسى ما فات ونبني لنا مستقبلا افضل أصغي لصوت المطر أفكر ما الذي حصل لحالي طوال سنوات مثل أناس كثر يضيع مني العمر ولا أبالي لكن قد سئمت من التفكير قد حان وقت التغيير Folks. Thank you so much for watching this documentary. Now, since this is still a YouTube video, technically, I'm gonna have to ask you guys to do all them YouTube things. Leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you guys thought about the movie. Please subscribe to the channel. And if you'd like to see more special projects like these, please consider subscribing to my Patreon to support this channel so we can create more special content like this. I had a lot of fun doing this video. I would love to, to discover more funny, kooky Lebanese characters that we can explore and have interesting videos about. So thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to make this documentary and for allowing me, you know, hopefully more opportunities to do more of that. Thank you.